Yo, welcome back. So this week's video is going to be me slating the plasterer. So once again, me and Nick have been done over. So we're at this job where it's like a partial rewire. Well, no, technically it's full rewire, but we're doing it in stages. So uh, you would have seen this on Nick's channel. But obviously this room, it's all been painted, plastered, ready for us to come put the socket fronts on. And yeah, that one's not too bad. You can actually see the box. So you can see obviously he's done us over. Realistically, the plasterer could have spent 20 seconds of his time when the plaster was nice and wet, just run his finger around it and it would have been perfect for us. But now I've got to try and chop that out with a multi-tool or hammer and tap it with my screwdriver to get a clean edge around the corner without it chipping. So that's going to be fun. And I've got to do that on. So one, two, there's one behind there, three, four, five, and I've had to cut these two out, which oh, that's just one of those. So this one over here also, that's what we're working with. So yeah, that's going to be fun to chop out. So yeah, Nick's just gone to get some more materials. Customers requested another data point like here. So as you can see, just data point with a smiley face. So this has been dabbed off. So I think I'll be able to sneak a single box here. This board's still um, not screwed down yet. So we'll lift it back up, put another single box there for a data point. So I'll just run you through the process of cutting in that now it's been dabbed and boarded just quickly run you through as well so this is on that back wall so here we've got two double sockets and a data point going in um i think they've future proofed it a bit so it's either they can have a telly here or in that corner where they want the new data point so what i've done here is originally i did mark it out as you can see um but i would have been on that stud so that was just i forgot i marked the center not the edge i thought i marked the edge um so yeah i remarked it off cut it out and then it's bored and then boarded the other side so it's like double boarded so let's cut that out with a pad saw because if you use the multi-tool if i just grab it it doesn't go all the way through so you're better off just using the multi tool uh, the pad saw so then it doesn't crack the edges on this i say it's cracked the edges a little bit but that's within tolerance of the uh all these fast fix ones have the little lip so it's within tolerance it'll be hidden sorry about the noise there's a log cutter guy outside he's uh using the chipping machine i think making loads of noise so normally I'd get a work mat down, but I don't have one, so I'm just using the dustpan. Get that below the socket when the plaster is done, it's over. Usually, this is, I snap mine, but go for Nick's battered old screwdriver. Get your cutters, and I usually just tap on the end. Usually I tap out this middle bit where you can see, to start with. Try and find some corners where you, where you want to work to, and then it's just a case of tapping all around. Technically, once you find your corners, you probably get away with using the multi-tool, but then you don't want to catch a cable, so you better off just tapping around. And once you get good at it, you can do it fairly quick. So that was a boring process. I'm just going to tap around, so I'll just do a quick little time lapse of me tapping it around. So when you get to this stage and you cleared up the cables, now what you want to try and do is pull the cables out and some of it will start coming with it. You just got to be careful of the corners, like this bottom corner. So you want to try and hold it so it doesn't pull loads of it out and then just slowly pull it out like that. Then once you feel it's still stuck, just flip all the stuff from behind. Like so, so you've got a nice clean corner there. And now the ends are still stuck in this side, so I'll tap this corner out and then once I've got the bulk of it out, I'll get my Stanley knife in and clean the edges. The bulk of it out. So now I'm gonna get me Stanley knife out. Here he is, uni -like knife. So now I'll just literally clean up the edges. So that's it done, minimal damage. So that's ready to be second fixed now. Obviously, you can see that took me about five minutes tapping all that out. But say in a room, you've got five, six sockets. Obviously, that time adds up, which is not added really onto the job. Like, you're not expecting it. So, uh, yeah, plasterers, we don't really like them for that fact. But hey-ho, ultimately, it's going to be nice and clean. And the customer ain't really going to know once I've left, apart from if they watch the video. But... Yeah, so that's, I'm going to strip that now, get some earth leaving on it, and then when Nick gets back with the accessories, I'll put the fronts on. As you can see now, it's a dramatic improvement. <laughs> now it's got some sleeving on, ready to be uh, terminated. 
So let's hop over to the next one. Also, get your rubber tub, just dispose of all the rubbish in there. Just stack it all up. And then, if we come down to this one, we'll get right down to level with it. As you can see, there's a gap between the bottom of the box and the plasterboard. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. The probably the customer will probably have to put some fill around that. So I'll chip out this one and then cut out a box to the left, pick this board up and try and run a data cable across. So I'll just show you a little before and after. I've chiseled out all the plaster out of here, stripped that, got that ready. Obviously, we know about this bit of damage here that the over plasterboard, it's cut it out a bit in the wrong place. However, this I'm going to cut out now for a data point and then my plan is I've... Oh, right there. I'm going to rod it on a bit of an angle, like down towards this board. It's only a data cable, and obviously it's kind of within zones of the both of them. So I'll rod it down here and then bring it through on the corner of that board. Right, Nick's back. I've been the. He's over here. He's just bought. What have you bought, bro? Um, I couldn't be asked to go to my actual wholesalers because I had to go to the unit. So next to the unit is Screwfix. So Adam says, and we've. <laughs> it's in the cat. <laughs> keeps coming through. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we keep going through like on the edges of noggins or whatnot. I bought a brand new sharp chisel set, which needs to go back in this case every single time to keep them all together. Um, when we've got a 50 meter drum. First cable I've ever bought from Screwfix. Um, brought, bought from Screwfix. One mil. There we go. And then, you know, we need some beveled edge. Oh, yeah. The single ones, but the lap ones, but they're screwless. Oh, that's they're nice. Nice, actually. So, we'll give the Adam, give them a go in a bit. Um, I picked up the Cat 6 cable and some um, click sockets for in here. So, Adam's for your plan to get this room finished today, innit? Yep. While I'm peeing around in there, cable clipping and whatnot. So, yeah, it's a good, a good little journey. Yeah, so that's what Nick's been up to. You saw me flick out the plaster and everything, so I've got a metal box here, I've just been in the van, got the 20mm open grommets, and I, I've tried a rod, and it'll all go straight down. I'll just lift this board back up, like I said before, cut a corner out of the board, and throw the cable down. So that's the board up, and I've got the rod across now, so I'm pulling in the data cable now, and then I'll fish it up, then I'll fix the box in. Obviously, it's easier that way. So, I've rodded from here, over to here, you can see the rod, where is it? Just this one. You can see it there. And then it's going all the way down there into the data cab, which is going under the stairs. So the box is nice and secure in the wall. Got a grommet in, got my cable through. The cable is running like that and then straight down. So it's within zones. Technically, it doesn't really have zones because it's data, cab data cables, I think. However, it's within zones anyway, so we ain't got to worry about that. So I'm going to bring it down the opposite side of the board, this side, away from the power. Obviously it messes with the internet and then I'll cut a bit out the floorboard, put this back down and make those off. Right, so that's the board back down, I've got plenty of cable there, I can always push a bit more down or I'll tuck it around the box. So now it's come to, rather than moving areas, now Nick's back, I've got all the materials. I'm just going to complete this area and then move on, on, move on to the next one. So what we've got is click double sockets, you've seen them loads of times, connecting that up, just live neutral earth. We don't know if the back box is because they get earth by the pins. If it was an industrial metal clad socket, we would, but here, some people do, some people don't, we don't. You don't, it's not regs, you don't need to, so we don't. Moving on to the data point, we use this Ideal, not sponsored by Ideal, nothing like that. This is just, we found the best kit, because it's got the push through ends, and then you just clamp it down, and it cuts all the wires, but obviously we're not, we're using some of these tools, we're not using that exact tool. So we're using Cat6 modules, and then they will slot into, the face plates, screwless face plates. Nick found these from Screwfix, so these look quite nice. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll strip that. That's the double socket on. Just come to the data point, but my back's are in, so find a paint tub and I'm gonna sit on it. What I've done is I've stripped the cable and separated all the cores. Some people don't do it. They like separate just the ends and then punch it down, but I prefer to do it this way to make sure I've got a solid connection. So then you look at the back of your module, you've got your colors laid out. Like, for example, number one is orange and white. Another little thing as well, you want to make sure you're using Cat6 ones to get the best connection. Obviously, if you're using Cat6 cable, so you get the maximum speed output. And then it's literally as simple as matching the colours up to the colours of the cable, getting your punch down tool, 
and pushing them down in the right position. It's quite hard to film and do this because I'm in a little corner, but you get the gist. So that's it all terminated. Gonna put the face plate through. So you just turn it sideways, straight through, match up top with top. He's here. Just pointing at you. <laughs> so Nick's doing them sockets. You got them in. Look at that face. No. <laughs> yeah. Nick's doing them. I'll put the switch on. We don't have a single socket, so we're good that one through. That one's all done. I'm gonna put that one on now. But I'll just run you through the switch. So Nick's ran three cores here. So we've got a common, a switch cable, which is the black, obviously sleeved it up brown. And then we've got the grey, which is sleeved up neutral. It won't be connected independent. And I've just slipped some blue over it so it's identified. Obviously, connect the earth into the back box. Do you know what percentage Adam needs to be sleeved up on a, let's say there's a blue for a switch light cable. Do you know what percentage of sleeving you need to put on? Yeah, just a fingernail. <laughs> now I'm joking, like 80%. I think it's, I'm asking you, I think yeah. it's 70%. Yeah. But yeah, that's normally what's ever in our pocket, to be honest. Yeah, that's definitely 80%, isn't it, guys? Yeah, well, you should be playing with it if you're not an electrician, so. Yeah, fact. So, that's what I'm doing. And then I'll do probably do that data point, or Nick will do it. I don't know whether he wants to do it. <laughs> I will not be doing the data point. So, realistically, that's been my little task so far this morning. But how, how long has that took you? How, I wasted my time and which is your time, which yeah. is my time, and I'm paying you for my time, which has been wasted, which is your time anyway. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You've got two, imagine if people watch the videos at the same time, so they're a bit of, whoa, inception. Um, if the plaster had just literally, while everything was wet, just gone bang, 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 you could have you could have rewired, the, you know, fast fix this, up, first fix, second. You could have been done in an hour and a half, yeah. two hours with the lights. And everything everything done. done. Yeah. But yeah, you've taken you. Three hours. Yeah. yeah. Leave that in as well. <laughs> Boom, we're all done. So sockets and ethernets are all done. Um, Nick jumped in and out to us. But yeah, new lights up. Sockets are all done. Nick's here. Yeah, the only problem we've got is I just spent and did time on that thinking we can turn the lights on a little bit. Um, but that's on the new line circuit for downstairs, which isn't being wired up for another week. So that was a waste of time and it's all dead. So there's way you're hanging out, but Adam, lick it, show when it's dead. <laughs> so that's really it for me showing the task of what I was doing today. Realistically now it's just me and Nick back and forth running cables for the extension. So you've seen that a million times, it's pretty boring and I can't really set you on the side because it's like in the hallway so it's in between doorways. So yeah that's really it for this one. Thanks for watching and bye!